Oh, man, I can't believe he said that. But it really means a lot to me because uh, the thing I've learned over the years is a lot of times it seems like when you express your true opinion, when people tell you to do that, they'll turn their back on you and walk away because they were surprised that you took a stance that you they hadn't considered or maybe that one that they aren't comfortable with. So the fact that you all are still sticking with me and continue to be my friend or whatever our relationship may be means a lot to me. And I mean that with my whole heart. So thank you once again for the kind birthday wishes and uh, I hope to reciprocate it uh, in time. Okay? Uh, I mean, it is really very flattering to know that, you know, you think life has you down and to know that I have all this moral support backing me up that means a lot a lot to me okay uh, normally after I get done with my introductions I will uh, lament about what's bothering me or what's on my mind today and for the most part I'm going to lay off that I'm going to try something a little bit different here on this uh, particular episode because to me today is a day of celebration of my life and uh, birthdays I largely took for granted up until 12 years ago. And those of you that don't know, or may not be fully aware, uh, my dad was declared dead on my mom's birthday in 2001. And I tell you, up until then, life and death was pretty much something I took for granted to a certain extent. Um, but to me, part of the reason why I make a big deal out of birthdays, even if it's just to say you know, wish you a happy birthday on Facebook or, you know, in person. Part of the reason why I make such a big deal out of it is, to me, you're telling the Grim Reaper to fuck off for another year. You didn't get me. I may have been down, but I wasn't down for the count. And you're not going to take my soul just yet. And that's part of the reason why it is such a big deal to me. And I apologize for my language, but that is the way I feel. Uh, because... Uh, at the risk of revealing too many family secrets, I nearly lost both my parents on the same night, uh, the night that my dad died. I won't get into a lot of that, and I probably already said too much. So that's why it is a big deal to me. And so, for me, for another year, you're telling the Grim Reaper, not this year. And I have you've been trying for 42 years to get rid of me. It's not going to be now. It's not going to be today. Maybe tomorrow, but certainly not today. Um... You can send me your comments via email, things you like about the show, don't like about the show, what you'd like to hear, what you don't want to hear, song of the day request, as well as uh, dedications, and uh, also if you have a song that you'd like to hear on a New Year's Eve party that I'm putting together for later next month, and I'll have more details on that probably in the next week and a half, you can do so by sending me your messages to Gunther's House of Friends at gmail.com. That's Gunther's, that's a plural of Gunther, G-U-N-T-H-E-R-S, Gunther's House of Friends, Friends is plural, Gunther's House of Friends, all one word, at gmail.com. Or you can leave me a message on Skype, and if it's of decent enough quality, I will uh, play that message somehow on the show. Okay, on the New Year's Eve program, or on the dedication on this program, if you'd like to hear it on First Cup. Uh, leave a message. Just look up the Skype account, G800-486-8437. That's G800-486-8437. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to get in the habit of using it again. I never really got into it. As a matter of fact, I set up my account years ago, and then I kind of just let it slide. And then for a while, I kind of got in the habit of, Oh, post this, post this, post this, follow this person, follow this person, follow this person, and then I didn't do anything with it again. And then when I relaunched my podcasting uh, life, I uh, decided, well, let's just go ahead and activate this thing again. So you can follow me on jhafner99, that's the letter J, H-A-F-F-N-E-R, and the number 99, jhafner99 on Twitter. And also look me up on Facebook, you know, if you're listening to this program through another friend's uh, uh, computer or connection, whatever the case might be, uh, just go to my website and look on for the uh, Facebook link. Now you're going, now Joe, what is your website address? Well, here it is. Okay, are you ready? 
It's www.tinyurl.com slash Gunther's House. tinyurl.com slash Gunther's House. That's good on your PC, your Mac, your Linux computer, or tablet computer. Whether it's a Nook Reader, uh, a Kindle Fire, or as they say in the South, Kindle Far, uh, you know, Google Tablet, whatever the case might be. Or you can look me up on your smartphone at tinyurl.com slash Gunther Mobile. That's good on your uh, tablet computer as well, along with your uh, Android phones, iOS, that's Apple for you novices, and uh, Windows phones as well. And I also believe it would probably also work on your iPods. I haven't used an iPod for quite a while. I'm working on getting one, but I'll probably go over for the iPad Mini. That's what I've got my eye on uh, these days, so I can uh, have another way of uh, broadcasting, mass communicating uh, my shows that way. Okay? And let's see, you can also listen to previous episodes of First Cup, along with Joe's Retro Radio, by uh, downloading the Stitcher app, which is available via hot link on the opening page of uh, my website at tinyurl.com slash Gunther's House. Uh, just look toward the bottom of the opening page, look for the Stitcher app, or download the Stitcher app at stitcher.com, look up Gunther's House of Friends, or you can uh, go to the Spreaker website download the Spreaker app that way Spreaker.com be heard and again look up Gunther's House of Friends on that network now this is normally the segment where I lament about what's on my mind for today oh, one more thing before I get to that though uh, nearly forgot the program plugs episode number 3 of Joe's Retro Radio by the way is coming up on Sunday November 24th 2013 at 6pm Central Standard Time and um, I'm hoping to have some shows of uh, some old Thanksgiving shows from the golden days of radio. But that's what I'm leaning towards right now. So we shall see. But it may just be a hodgepodge of some uh, shows from uh, late November in the golden days of radio. Okay, again, that's coming up on Sunday, November 24th at 6 p.m. on this podcasting network. So be looking for links on my Facebook page as well as on Twitter, assuming I remember to post it. Now, uh, the drink of choice tonight, <coughs> excuse me, by the way, I bought this today. I hadn't tried it before. I like it. It's Starbucks Discoveries, and I got it at the local High V store here in Kirksville. They're not sponsoring this show in any way, but I try to shop there when I can because they've got a Starbucks store, but I was a fan of High V long before Starbucks went in there. And it's the Cafe Mocha love this stuff. Oh, normally I'm not a fan of iced coffees, but this one, oh, I would cross deserts and I would sail the ocean to buy more of that stuff if I had to. That is some good stuff. Unlike the uh, uh, eggnog latte that I had at Starbucks earlier today, I thought, well, I've got a little bit of time here. I bought myself some birthday treats because, you know, birthdays I think are one day you're allowed to spoil yourself. If no one else will do it for you, you know, go out and spoil yourself if you can. Within reason, of course. So, a lot of my friends would go out and get drunk. That's just not me. Well, anyway, I went to Starbucks and I thought, eh, look over the menu. I thought, eh, I'm craving eggnog. You know, I like it once a year. This is about the right time of the year for it. So I thought, eggnog, coffee, two of my favorite things. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that was some of the nastiest coffee I have had in a long time. Now, I like Starbucks. The prices are outrageous, but the coffees are pretty good most of the time. This stuff, it the aroma was like smelling the inside of a garbage chute for me. And the taste was about as pleasant. <laughs> now, as the drink cooled off, it got better. But something about hot eggnog uh, it, ugh, just made me want to gag. It makes me gag, want to gag now just thinking about it. So that's what I did there. Anyway, it's time now for uh, time for the uh, uh, what was this thing called? Uh, the monologue. Are you all still here? You're all still here? Ay, 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 ay. Well, I guess it helps. I guess I'll know if these jokes are any good or not. Remember, if they're good, I'll take credit for them, but if they're bad, 
if they're bad, I'm not going to acknowledge that I wrote them, okay? So here's what's on my mind today in terms of jokes. You know, astronomers have discovered 40 billion planets just like Earth. And the remarkable thing is, they're all just like Earth. You know, it's pretty mind-boggling. You know, with all those billions of planets and each with their own version of keeping up with the Kardashians, I mean, ugh, that's a scary thought, isn't it? Oh, there's some Kim Kardashian fans out there. Well, boo on you, too. Okay. Boy, this company's hard. It really is. Oh, stop, 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 stop. No, no. Come on. I've only got, I've only got two and a half hours here on this, okay? I gotta go to bed sometime. I gotta work tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Uh, okay. Well, let's see what else is on my mind. Well, a new report says that there could be 70... Hey, 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 hey. Keep it down. Keep it down. Well, I tell you, sit here in your underwear and people just cheer you on. I don't have a whole lot to brag about, okay? A new report says there could be 7,500 private drones in the air by 2015. Uh, as a matter of fact, officials say it is more for safety concerns instead of privacy. <laughs> yeah, better think before you do that nude sunbathing, huh? I mean, come on, yeah. Well, they, well, they shut up in a hurry. Um, let's see here. Israeli doctors claim that uh, shock to the penis... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, my apologies. If you've got young ones around, what are they still doing up at this hour? Unless you're out on the uh, West Coast or in Hawaii or something. Uh, Israeli doctors claim a shock to the penis cures impotence. <laughs> Maybe. But you thought there was some wailing at the wailing wall before. I mean, uh, whoa. <laughs> Look out. Look out down below. What's that, Colonel? Colonel Potter, are you out there? Colonel Potter? I thought I heard you out there. Say that again, Colonel. I, I don't think they heard you. That's what she said. Okay. All right. Woo! The Wailing Wall, indeed. <laughs> uh, let's see. Walmart, in uh, other news today, Walmart has chosen a winning designer for the, for the new betting line, in which will feature all things Elvis. Oh, my. This joke almost writes itself. Available by Christmas will be a full line of Elvis bed sheets, pillowcases, and a pair of Elvis pajamas that come with a cape and blue suede booties. Uh, boy, nothing says redneck more than getting your Elvis... Nothing says uh, redneck more than getting your Elvis bed sheets and uh, regalia at the local Wally World, huh? Yeah. Come on, the joke. The joke wasn't that funny. It wasn't that good. Well, another news today. Another news today. The National Toy Hall of Fame in Rochester, New York. Yes, boss. Has named Chess and the Rubber Duck as this year's new inductees. Chess. How long has that been around? Three, four hundred years or more. Uh, also, ran, um, uh, runner-ups include uh, Pac-Man, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the Miley Cyrus Rubber Twerking Finger. All runner-ups. Runner uh. Great, I've got some twerkers out there. Well, in other news today, America's newest $13 billion nuclear aircraft carrier has been named after Richard Nixon's vice president, later President Gerald R. Ford. You know, when a tugboat accidentally bumped into it during the uh, launching, the captain, in remembrance of the ship's namesake, pardoned it. I mean, uh... Wall Street Titan Steve Cohen, Stephen Cohen, agreed to a plea deal with U.S. prosecutors for insider trading on the stock exchange. 
uh, he'll pay a report, uh, reportedly he'll pay a $2 billion fine from the uh, $10 billion